Good afternoon, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. Thought I'd talk a little bit about the bond market here. A lot of times people associate the bond market with being a safe haven. It's a secured uh, fixed income, guaranteed return, very low risk. And typically, like if you're younger, you're not into bonds as much as stocks. Like you want to get into stocks, it has more risk, it has a higher return to it. And then as you get older, you get out of stocks and into bonds. You want something that has a little more security, something that you're guaranteed that return. And so a lot of people have associated bonds with safety, um, security, uh, you know, low, low risk. But things have changed. The bond market is no longer the safe haven asset that it once was. It's moving into bubble territory. Listen to this. This is coming from a, from a guy, uh, McBride. Is right? No, I'm sorry, Edelman. This is uh, Rick Edelman from Edelman Financial Engines. And this is what he had to say. The volatility that we may experience in the bond market could easily exceed the volatility that's normally associated with the stock market. Okay. It goes on to say, and the worst part is it will hit the very investors who are least able to sustain the volatility, the conservative income oriented investor who is retired and doesn't have 30 years to wait for a recovery. Investors who went into bonds under the guise of safety could get a rude awakening if interest rates rise. So this is something that most investors out there have never experienced was a continually rising interest rate environment. Basically, for the last 40 years since the early 80s, interest rates have done nothing but drop the entire time with short spurts of rising interest rates. But the overall path has been a downward trajectory. He goes on to say this. Nobody expected the interest rates would stay so low for so long and that we might experience zero or even negative interest rates. That means investors need to recognize the notion of interest rate risk. He goes on to say here, folks who are old enough to remember can fondly recall the days of 15% CD rates and then in that, I'm sorry, and can also laminate the days of 21% mortgages. So like CDs now are down to like, 1% or 2% or something. I don't even know. And mortgages are like at three and a half, four percent 4%. So you can see the amount of percentage, the interest rates from back in the early 80s were dramatically higher than they are now. He goes on to say, it caused many investors to conclude that this is the way bonds always have be, or always behave because in their individual mind, that's the way bonds always did behave. See, for the last 40 years, anytime you have ever bought a bond, for the most part, it has gone up in price because interest rates have always gone down. And what he is saying is, is that we may be coming into a time where that's going to change. Uh, he goes on to say this. There are on, they are on opposite si ends of the seesaw. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me start a little bit farther back here. He goes, what people may not realize is that at some point, interest rates will have to rise again which mean bond yields will fall in value. They are on opposite ends of a seesaw. When one goes up, the other goes down. So as interest rates go down, the bond prices went up. So everybody's bond portfolio right now is just looking killer. They're like, no, bonds are awesome. I got a lot of money in my bond portfolio. That's because the interest rates have been going down the whole time and the prices kept going up. But now what he's saying is that that may churn and start going the other way. As interest rates rise, the bond portfolios may start to fall. He goes on to say this, today, that ratio is about one to seven, meaning for every 1% change in interest rates, there's a 7% change in bond values. If interest rates go from 2% to 4%, a 2% increase, bonds could lose 15% of their value. And the majority of bond investors, I fear, are not aware of this risk. Now, this is coming from a Greg McBride. This is, uh, he's the vice president of bankrate.com. This is what he had to say. A skeptical investor might think this is crying wolf, but just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen. You are getting, a, you are getting very little in the way of income. 
and you've got a risk of significant downside, downside volatility at this point. This is McBride saying this. Investors would be prudent to take a little money off the table now and lighten up on bonds. So these guys are pretty scared of bonds. And now if you think about it, when you got negative yielding bonds out there, what that is basically saying is that you have speculators in the market who are willing to give their money up knowing that the contract that they get is going to pay back less money over time, but they're willing to do it because they feel that interest rates are going to drop into the future and they'll be able to sell that bond for a higher price. It is complete speculation. There is no sensible reason for somebody to go out there and buy a negative interest rate bond unless they are completely speculating on the idea that interest rates are going to continue to drop into the future. It is no longer the safe haven asset that it once was. Bonds are risk. Very risky. At least in my opinion, they are. Uneducated economist, you guys let me know.